Hey everybody, Ryan Mayer here. Today I want to talk to you about forgiveness. Forgiveness is one of those things that we love to receive, but it's a lot harder for us to want to give out. And I find that kind of funny because Jesus died for all of our sins. God gave his son to die in our place and completely pay the debt that we could never repay. It's like owing a massive, massive amount of money that you could never, ever pay back. And then somebody comes along and says, oh, you don't have to pay that anymore. Well, Jesus actually told a parable in Matthew 18 of that exact situation where a man owed the king millions upon millions of dollars that he could never repay. And the king was going to throw him and his family in prison. They were going to have to work it off. They could, they were going to be in prison forever right? So he begged and pleaded for the king to have mercy on him. And the king decided to have mercy. And it was amazing. He forgave this massive debt that no one could ever repay. And as soon as the man was released, he saw somebody who owed him money, a small amount of money. And he grabbed the man by the throat and said, pay me what you owe me. And just obviously that's ridiculous. He just got forgiven a massive, massive debt. And then he sees somebody who owes him a small amount and, and he wants to grab him by the throat and demands to be paid now. Like some great injustice has been done. And obviously the king was not happy to hear about this. But what I want to focus on guys is that's what we do. We've been forgiven this massive, massive sin debt. And then we turn around and are unwilling to extend forgiveness to someone else. That's not going to make the king very happy. We have no right, guys, to not forgive one another. It says, forgive as the Lord forgave you, right? This is what scripture says. This is what we're called to do. And believe me, I understand that it's difficult. And a lot of times we're not used to forgiving. We're used to being stuck in our own, uh, you know, righteousness that they sinned against me. They were wrong. They're the ones that messed up. I'm right. They're wrong. But you know what's funny about that is before God, we stand just as guilty before God as anyone who has ever done anything against us, right? We've all missed the mark. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short. And so let's cut each other some slack. How about that? How about we cut each other some slack and forgive one another? And the Lord commands us to do this. Forgive as I have forgiven you. So that's not a suggestion. That is a commandment. And so I think we owe it to the Lord to extend forgiveness to others because he was so gracious to do that for us. So I just want to encourage you because I get how difficult it is sometimes, but it's totally worth it. And let me just say this. If you're holding on to unforgiveness, you are the one who is suffering. You are the one who is being poisoned by that, by that unforgiveness. So how long are you going to hold on to it? How long are you going to drink that poison? When you could just let it go. Now there's a difference between forgiveness and trust. You can forgive someone and not necessarily trust them. And someone can work on regaining your trust, but it's just poisoning you to live in unforgiveness. So I just want to encourage you. And again, I'm, I'm talking to you about this because it's something I need to hear and it's something that we all need to work on together. So hopefully this has been a blessing to you. Hopefully this makes sense. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.